friends, hope today's video is going to be my April favorites. Holy crap, this month flew by, you guys. I had my birthday and I had a, it was a great month. My, I cannot believe that went so fast, like my birthday and just flew by. I'm like, holy cow, did that even happen? So I have a bunch of favorites that I wanna share with you. I wanna go through this video kind of fast because I've been filming for a little while now and I did do a get ready with me with this look, which is intense, which I'm laughing because my other Favorites video was just very natural, and then this <laughs> this month is like ba bam. I don't really think I'm gonna mention any duds. I haven't been met. I don't really have many duds, and I also I haven't been mentioning duds recently, just because I kind of want to curate my products into a just complete dud video. I just feel like it's easier that way, and then I also can make my favorites videos not as long. With foundations, obviously the Roma Lasting Finish. I <laughs> this could be in every single month's favorites, and I try not to mention it like every month, but I haven't mentioned it in a few months. And you guys know, I just love this one. And if I have any new viewers, you guys, I, I just have to keep reminding you. And this, I actually probably shouldn't be talking about because I think they discontinued this. I need to order it on Amazon because otherwise I cannot live without this foundation. So I have to order it on Amazon before it's completely gone. Because I'm pretty sure they discontinued it because they have the new one. Which the new one sucks. I do not know why they would ever replace this formula. My favorite foundation of all time. It looks so good on your skin. I do not know why they would get rid of it, but they are, and it makes me so sad. So, um, yeah, I love this stuff. So if you guys still can pick it up, find it, pick it up, use it. It's amazing. I have the shade 100 Ivory. It's perfect for me. My skin just looks so good every time I use it. And then I also have the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I have the shade 112 Natural Ivory. I don't know. I don't like this undertone as much. This is more of a gray undertone and this is more of a pink. I'm more of a, I like the gray undertone the best, but if I have to go between pink and yellow, I definitely go yellow more than pink. So I do not like the undertone in this foundation. Sorry, my eyebrows bothering me. I do think this is a very nice one. I have used it quite a few times since I got it. It's very full, co I mean, not very full coverage, but it's pretty full coverage. And I think that it's kind of more of a matte finish. So I definitely like to use my Wet n Wild Dewy Primer underneath, um, try to mix an oil in with it or something just to make sure it's not too matte since I have normal to dry skin. But I do like this foundation a lot. The bronzer, the Benefit Hoola. I don't use this one very often. And I actually use it today to bronze up my my neck because this foundation is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous that I'm wearing. I'm trying it out. It's way too dark for me. So this one is very nice. Um, I'm playing around with this. I have a mini size. I should probably get rid of it because I've had it for a while. But I really do like this bronzer a lot and I think it's very nice. I've been actually into using it as a contour, as a warm contour. Because I don't know if you guys watch Carly Styles or What's Up Wood. She's brother of Shea Carl from Shea Tarts. She has... Um, always in her mom's new video. I watch the mom's new videos, which I really like. Um, and she's always got a warm contour. And I, I always relate it to this. I don't know what it is that she uses, but I always like it. So I wanted to try it out and I got a very similar look with this. So I liked that. I have an eyeshadow primer, the Milani eyeshadow primer. This one is very nice. A lot of YouTubers talk about this. I want to do a comparison between this and the, um, Urban Decay one. One day, maybe I'll do one side and the other, but I really think this is very similar. Um, I really don't think it's worth spending a lot of money on an eyeshadow primer, and I have seen dud primers before that I do not like, but this one definitely is up my alley, and I have been loving it so far since I've used it. Okay, I have one kind of maybe product, and this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. I got blonde because I'm tired of having dark brows like I do right now, but I have a mixture of this and my L'Oreal one in my brows, and I don't know how I feel. <sighs> okay. I pretty much like this. The only thing is I do have some sparse areas in my eyebrows, which I, this like right here, there's a little tiny sparse area. Nothing will fill. I've never had this round before. My L'Oreal won't even fill it. But if I do need just a quick brow pencil just to fill in just a little bit, I like this one. But I did um, hear Jessica Braun talking about this and she had said that it doesn't like to stick to your skin, and I totally agree with that. It does not like to stick to your skin, so if you have a lot to fill in your brows, you would not like this, but if you have quite a bit of hair and you just need to fill in just a little bit of sparse areas, you would probably like this. And I do not like the spoolie on this. It's so tiny. It's annoying. My shadow, you guys, this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow on Ladybird. I've had this for about a little over a week now. And every time I do my eye look, I put it on. I put on just the tiniest bit today. This is really mostly my Naked 2 palette on my eye. But I'm not kidding you guys. I cannot go without using this on my eye. It is so pretty. And it doesn't even look like it swatches that. Like, look. 
doesn't even look like it swatches that pretty, but if you have a shadow underneath and you pop this on top, your eye look looks amazing. I've worn this in a few videos. Looks incredible. Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow palette in Rose in the Air, Rose in the Air. You guys, this palette blew me away. It is so pigmented. It blends so nicely. I don't know why I haven't been told to get this sooner. I mean, people talk about it all the time, but like I just haven't bought it. And now that I have, I cannot go back. This is amazing. This blends so well. Some, th these blend better than some of my high-end eyeshadow palettes. I did my eye look so fast whenever I use these palette, this palette. So I love this so much. Find a shade, a palette that matches like the shade range that you would like and definitely pick it up. I have a blush, the Flower Beauty Flower Pot Blush in Sweet Pea. Mentioned this a few times, I'm wearing it today. I really like it. It's a nice kind of mauve tone blush. Very pretty, very natural, very pigmented. Very natural color, but very pigmented, so you do have to use a light hand, but it is a very nice blush. I have three mascaras. The Maybelline Total Temptation. I talked about this, I think, maybe in that collab video of the, with the one with Andrea. I do like this. It's a very light formula, but it makes my lashes so wispy looking. It very it curls them, it lengthens them. It doesn't necessarily volumize, so I do like to pair it with other mascaras like the uh, Cosmetics Superhero, which I mentioned last month. So these two together look really well, work really well together, and I do like this one a lot. It's not necessarily like a heavier formula. Like I said, it's more of a lighter formula, but I do like it. And then this Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume. This is more of a natural mascara, but I don't mind it. It's not going to give me the intense volume that a lot of them do, but this does lengthen and give me a good amount of curl. So it's kind of like an in-between of a very natural and an intense, which you probably wouldn't necessarily make notice me mentioning ones because I do like intense mascaras. But this one is a very good happy medium, the I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume. This is not the waterproof. A lot of people talk about the waterproof one, but I have not tried that one. But I do really like this mascara, and Essence did send this one to me. But I'm just saying I like it because I like it. They're not telling me to say I like it. And last is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip. I'm wearing this today. It is a nice mattifying liquid lipstick but it's not drying which is what I love. I have the shade Dose of Rose and I do have a little bit of a gloss on top so that's why it's glossy but I love this product. It is so nice. I'm so glad I tried this. A lot of these were from my collab video so I'm so excited to have found some mini great products so those are all the products. Now let's get into some music. I like this song Don't You Wanna Stay by Jason Aldean and Kelly Clarkson. Don't you wanna stay? Country by Rodney Atkins. Drunk on You by Luke Bryan. Oh, I love this song. Girl, you make my speakers go boom boom. Dancing on the town in the pool. How summertime. Cruise. This is an old song, but I've been jamming, you guys, since I can roll the windows down, finally. Okay. Mercy by Brett Young. Love this song. So if you're gonna break my heart, just break it. Made up your mind, they made it. I Don't Dance by Lee Bryce. Spinning you round and round in circles. It ain't my style, but I don't care. Last one is Cop Car by Sam Hunt. Running for it would make a good story. I was thinking you were crazy as hell. It was so innocent. She was still in my heart. I fell in love in the back. Guys, I have a lot of songs. I'm going to mention a one Christian song. You guys know I Can Only Imagine. There's a new movie coming out. Well, it's actually out right now um, called I Can Only Imagine. It's about the main singer of this song. And this is the movie version. And I like this version so much better than the original. I did not like the original. It just, I don't know why. It just kind of bothers me. Um, just because of, like, things with my mom and stuff. I think it's just, like, reminds me of her. But I love this new version. <laughs> So that song, um, I also like Healing Begins by 10th Avenue North. Yes, 
Last one, promise. I want to know. No N O T D and B Miller. Does she move your body like I move your body? this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you have not already and yeah see you guys in my next video bye guys